OK. So I have 2 plus square root of 6 times 6 minus the square root of 2. So what we're going to do for this is Uh, 2 plus the square root of 3 times 6 minus the square root of 2. Now, remember, if I had like x times y, right, you can create a box for this. If I wanted to find the area, a lot of times we use a rectangle. But notice we have a binomial times a binomial. So when I apply the rectangle form of this, I'm going to have two terms. So I'll do one side, I'll do 2 plus the square root of 3. Here I do 6 minus the square root of 2. So when applying this method, the best thing I like to do is just multiply for each box. 6 times 2 we know is 12. 2 times negative square root of 2. I can't multiply the 2 inside the square root. All right. We know that the square root of 2 times the square root of 3 is square root of 6. But this is a whole number, and this is a radical. So it's have, just. You could if that had the square root around it? If it has a square root, then you'd multiply in. But since it doesn't, it's just two times square, two times, negative 2 times square root of 2. Okay, So here's my point. If I did the square root of 6, guys, times the square root of 3 equals the square root of 18. 6 times the square root of 3 equals 6 square root of 3. You can't multiply them. All right? If they're in, on, both under the root, you can do it. So 6 times square root of 3, just give me one second, is right there. And then negative square root of 2 times square root of 3, since they're both under a root, that becomes negative square root of 6. Now. I'm looking at this, ladies and gentlemen. Do any of my square roots are the same? No. no. So I can't combine any of them. So your answer is just going to be 12 plus 6 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 6 or square root of 2 minus the square root of 6. Yes, if at any time any of those were together, you could combine them. But in this case, none of them are the same, so we can't combine. Yes. It's okay. It's like. 5 plus 4, 4 plus 5. That'd be okay. Anna, yes, your question. How come for number 18 you did the box and not for the number 18? It looks pretty much the same. They are, but you notice on number 13 there's no addition or subtraction oh. symbols. So in number 13 you're doing a monomial times a monomial. In number 18 you're doing a binomial times a binomial. 